Hi, everyone. All right. Yesterday, Etsy released their first commercial about gift mode. And I'm like, okay, I, I better do a video about it. And I know that I did one kind of over on my other channel that was talking about gift mode in general. But let's go in and take an actual tour of it and see what it looks like. Because the thing is that a lot of people don't have gift mode. And a lot of people, here, let me adjust this. A lot of people, see my sweater? A lot of people um, are not in the U.S. And the U.S. Has, has gift mode. And as you can tell, I'm doing this kind of live. I'm recording it, but I'm not going to edit this too much. I want to go into gift mode and just look around and see what people see when they go there and what kind of the experience of using gift mode is just to see if it's easy or is it frustrating? Are there things that we as sellers need to watch out for? Because I think people are putting way too much like power in this. And I, I've already started seeing videos about how to hack gift mode. Don't, don't worry about it. Gift mode is basically just a suggested search kind of an algorithm. It's like a browse instead of a search. It's it's a discovery algorithm instead of a search algorithm. And they're going to help you discover things, okay? So let's go on over to Etsy and I'm going to share the screen if I can find the button. There it is. Let's, okay, so now I'm, I'm on Etsy. And this is what you see when you go to Etsy on the desktop. On the app, the one thing I don't like about gift mode, and not, not the one thing, but one thing that I don't like about gift mode, and I really don't like this, is that on the app, they have replaced the favorites icon, which is a little heart, with the gift mode icon. So now to get to your favorites, people have to go to their profile and go from there, instead of just being able to tap the gift, the favorites icon um, on, the, on the app. So I don't like that. And I'm, I'm glad they still have all this recently favorited, blah, blah, blah. But this is just right up at the top. And they're, they are promoting this right now. So I don't know if this is going to stay. I don't know if this is just a temporary thing that people are going to see when they come to Etsy just because it's new. I don't know. And look, you can pause this. I guess this is in case you get irritated by that, which it's kind of a little irritating. But as these are scrolling through, it's showing people kind of categories that they can click on. So let's just let's just click on the cat lover, okay, and see what happens. So the first thing is it just takes us to this category, cat portrait art. Okay, I don't need that. Now, the one thing to understand, and I did not see this when I did the first video, is that if you click show more, it does turn on the, okay, now first it says show more. It just shows you more. But then if, you, if it clicks on discover more like this, so it's a couple of clicks deep but it does turn on the free shipping filter, but it also includes things that have the $35 shipping guarantee. So it's not, you know, the free shipping filter includes free shipping, just straight free shipping and the $35 guarantee. So it's not something that is necessarily going to show um, for everyone, you know, because you have to go through a couple of clicks deep to get to this. And when you're just looking at, let me see, when you're just looking at these categories, it, it does have a lot of things that don't have free shipping. So it's not that kind of situation that everything in there is, is free shipping, but in parts of this do default to free shipping. All right, so let's go to, let's go to the cat lover because I like cats, okay? Um, so we have cat portrait art, cat, handmade cat toys. So they're basically just taking things and trying to organize them, which is not a big deal. Now, I've I've started to see the thing, you know, um, how to hack Etsy gift mode. Basically, I I have not watched any of them because there's not there's nothing really here to hack. Okay, but if you want to use these as keywords, I would not put Kawaii Cutie in my tags. That's dumb. But if you want to look, I mean, if you have things for dogs and cats, and you, you don't have the word pet parent in your keywords in your tags or your title somewhere, I would put that in there because that's a pretty well-searched keyword. Just because it's on here, it doesn't mean that people are actually searching for that. But I mean, future veterinarian, I would put like veterinary student or veterinarian student. I don't know that people would search for future veterinarian. They might, but it's going to be a small number of people. Think of the keywords that would go with this that are more generally used. And when I do keyword research, I do find searches like this, but they're minimal. Most people aren't going to search for, I need a gift for a future veterinarian. They're going to say my my son in veterinary school or my, my daughter who wants to be a veterinarian or whatever. Um, they're not going to search for the future veterinarian. That's just kind of a weird phrase. And they're trying to be cute with it here. But use your common sense. And, you know, it's it's the kind of thing where you, and I mean, and wellness enthusiast, I don't, 
this the word enthusiast i think is something that we as sellers use and probably people might use that but i think they do lover or wellness interest i mean i it's not something enthusiast i don't know how common that is i could be 100% wrong it won't hurt to put this in your tags. See, this is the thing. None of this hurts to put in your tags because it does give context to the search engine, which may I add, um, if you if you really look at search engines, they're all kind of AI, right? And I think that the reason that Etsy is promoting AI is because it's kind of a hot topic now and people think it's really something magical. But this is basically just making connections. It's nothing, it's nothing earth shattering. And it also says that it has a curated component to it. So I don't even know what that means. Like at what point do people actually step in? And I think that probably that just means that they include the Etsy picks in this somewhere because they claim that those are curated. And that would just be an easy way to, to tell this specific search engine to show a lot of those. That would be a way to say that it's human curated. Again, I don't know for sure, but let's, okay. So that's that's what happens when you click on one of these. It just takes you to those pages. And I'm, I'm also kind of doing this for the people who don't have this and they can't see what's going on. Um, but yeah, don't, the hacking, hacking gift mode, just get ideas. You can get ideas for keywords from everywhere. And like I said, it doesn't hurt to put things in your titles and tags. I would probably put things in your tags as opposed to the titles as far as gifting goes. And I will take you over to look at one of these. I'll just choose one at random just to show you what Etsy is doing with the gift keywords that goes along with this. If we click on shop now, it takes you to a different page. So I don't know. Okay, so this is changing. It changes. So this is just telling people, hey, we can find you anything. We can find a gift for anybody. Now, I do think that this is going to be good for people who are either incredibly lazy and who don't want to put any thought into giving a gift for someone or they just are sincerely clueless and they have no idea what to buy. So those two those two categories of people are really going to like this. But for most people from what I've seen and let's let's go and look it's it's just not it, it's the kind of thing where you might go in and you might find something but then you might have ideas from what you see and then you go search for something else and that will start a new cycle because that's a different search engine now. Okay, so let's say that I'm shopping for my friend. So I'm going to click that. And then next question. And what's the occasion? It's her birthday. Okay. And then what are they into? And then you have to choose something. But this is very limited. Um, so it's, a, it, it's somebody might not choose that. Let's see what happens if you don't choose one of those because you don't have to. So now gift idea for friend based on your answers. The friend the son. Okay. I didn't ask for gifts for my son. Do some what's some, if you know where that is, post a comment. Um, the sweet tooth that might be, you know, that maybe they like candy. I don't know. Um, the chocolate, there's a lot of chocolate in here, isn't there? And this really looks handmade, doesn't it? Good job, Etsy. Okay. That aside, let's keep going. And then it just defaults to popularity. So if we do show more, it's just going to take us into that window. Oh, no. It, okay. This looks like it'll give you more categories. Okay. So the graduate, the retiree. So this is still friends, right? The friend on the mend. Um, I don't know. I mean, it, it might be that somebody clicks on the friend and then let's see, show all, what does this say? Show all ideas. Let's click on that and see if that defaults to anything. I don't see, see, this is, there's nothing coming up here in the search bar. So this is not a search. This is a guided search. And we've got it. So basically now it's taking you to the categories that we were looking at to begin with. And if you click on here, so original, oh my God, they all look so different. Um, and I'm being sarcastic as you know. Okay. And then again, you have to click twice to get to the page that filters for free shipping. So I'm not, I'm, you know, not that impressed with this, but it could be, like I said, it could be helpful for someone who has no idea, but I think that most people who are buying a gift for their friend's birthday probably have an idea and they're not going to necessarily rely on this, but it's a curiosity thing, right? So people will be using this for a while down the road. How many people use gift mode? I don't know. And it's, it's probably not going to go away. I don't know if it'll be featured so prominently though. I find that really annoying personally. Um, but let's say we're going to do friend and then next question, and we are going to choose something. Let's say birthday and they like arts and culture. Now let's see what it looks like since we added that extra component to it. 
uh, the art in mind. So now they're getting more specific. So now we've, we've gone one level down in the specificity, and now they're going to give me answers that are specific to this arts and crafting. So painters, just the friend. And I don't think these are the same things that they were showing me before, right? Uh, the Londoner, what does this have to do with arts? I guess, I guess it has artwork in it. So, and let's click on show more. What category is the vintage hunter? So it's, it's trying to, it's trying to give you things. It's trying to give you ideas. The one thing that I will say about this is that it probably will t show people that there's more on Etsy than they think, because most people will come to Etsy to buy one thing, and then they think that that's what Etsy sells. So if I buy something for a baby shower, I think, oh, Etsy sells baby shower stuff. If you buy something for a wedding, they think, oh, Etsy is for weddings. But this, you know, this might get people to kind of, you know, understand that there's a lot of stuff on Etsy. It's not necessarily handmade, but, you know. And I, there was an article just this past week in an Australian newspaper about how people are very suspicious of shopping on Etsy now because they've realized that it's full of junk. And you can, you have to really look very carefully to get something that is genuinely handmade if that's what you're looking for, which is a problem. That's a problem. But anyway, um, the other thing to notice about this is that there is kind of a wide range of prices, but these all kind of, you know, there's, there's this one is low. I would call 85 and 85. Those are both under 100. And then we have a couple that are in the medium range, but this is 737. So they are showing a, a wide range of prices, which is kind of good, I guess. Let's see about this one. This is the painter. It looks like there's some pre-made things. That one's a little more expensive. These are less expensive, a little less pricey. Uh, these are on the lower end. So take, just take a quick look at that, but I, you know, try to have things in your shop that have a price range, low, medium, high. I've said that for years. This is not unique to this. It's just a good practice for your shop because if somebody can't afford something that's more expensive, they will buy something that's less expensive. And then if they like it, they'll come back and buy something that's more expensive or that that's the idea behind it. It's not guaranteed, but that's the idea behind it anyway. Um, let's go back to all gift ideas. And just look at what else is on this page. So, I mean, that's basically what this is, but let's let's do this one more time. Friend, birthday, and I do want to show you, um, let's see, let's do the perfect style. Don't know what that is. Okay, so now we're gonna see different types of styles. Okay, now if you're clicking in here, if you're clicking in through this, this is where, let's, let's do this one. I'll just take a look at this. This is probably a free shipping thing because it looks like it would be free shipping. And it, you know, if, if you don't know what I mean by that, then sorry. Okay. Yeah. So that's free shipping. Let me see the fashionista fella. This is a, for a fella. Okay. I wouldn't put the word fella in your, in your listings. Um, and also if you didn't notice that first listing was from Turkey that I looked at, and this one is from the UK. So if you are not in a country, I think the UK does have this, but if you're not in a country that has gift mode, it doesn't mean that your listings are not being shown. It just means that you don't have customers who are seeing this yet, but your listings can still be shown. So this does have free shipping. Um, I was looking at some things yesterday, not everything came up with free shipping, but what I wanted to do is to show you what they're doing here. So these are, this looks like the tags that this person has put in the listing, but all of this stuff, is tags that Etsy has been adding to listings for the last few months. And this started way before, I don't, I don't know, way, but it started definitely before the holiday shopping season. And we noticed that they were like loading up all these gift tags under the actual tags that we put in our own listings. And if you scroll down, you'll see this on your own listings that there's a whole bunch of gift tags now. And they try to do it to every shop. So it's not just the ones that are showing up in gift mode. And to show you this, my my stuff is not really gift shop. Um, let's look at this one. I don't know if they've done it to this one. I have not looked, but if we scroll down here, now see they they don't they don't have it here. These are not these these probably are my tags. But see, my listings are not really gift listings. My listings don't get given as gifts, but I did see that they put birthday gift on one of them. And I don't put gift keywords on my listings. Let's go back in here and look at this one listing that I have, because I sold one today or yesterday. I saw it was a, it was a couple days ago um, and I did sell it and someone sent it as a gift. So it was had a gift receipt attached to it. 
And I remember that because I cut it apart. You know, it's like I, I cut the gift receipts off all the time. It's this one. Let's look to see if they've added a gift tag to this listing. Because I, like I said, normally I don't. Yeah, they did. Anniversary gifts and birthday gifts. Okay, so it could be that anything that has ever been bought as a gift is being identified by Etsy as a gift and that they're adding things that they think are appropriate for that. And this is speculation on my part, but just the fact that I, I know that I just sold this and it had a gift receipt attached, it could be that that's how they're determining whether something is a gift or not. So if you don't have things that ever sell, like if you've never seen an Etsy gift receipt, you might not see this in your in your tags. But if you do have things that sell as gifts, my guess is that Etsy is going to fill your whole shop up with it and you don't really need to worry about doing it. I'm certainly not going to go into my listings and add these two tags to them because that's dumb. And it's just not. And I think probably the reason they have an anniversary and birthday is probably I might have that. Sometimes I have the tag birthday cake right? But I don't think I do. Or birthday cupcakes. Let me look at the title. But I for this, I don't think, yes, I have birthday in here. Okay. I don't have anniversary, but that's that's the AI relating birthday and anniversary in other listings that I have, because I probably do have anniversary cake or something like that in some of my other listings. It's not a tag that I use commonly, but it might be in some of the other listings. And so it's trying to shove any birth, any gift giving keywords in that it can and that just could be the connection that it's making. So this is something to be aware of, just that they are putting gift tags on every, pretty much every listing they can get away with that makes sense. You don't need to worry about filling up the tags with gift tags because Etsy is doing that for you. And they're just trying to shove everything onto this. They're trying to shove everything into gift mode because that's the direction that they're going to be taking this year. They said that in their marketing. And, um, you know, that, that's about it. So I'm going to stop the share here. I don't, I don't know. I mean, if, if there's anything else that you want me to show you about gift mode, go right ahead. I, I would look at it for keyword ideas, but don't feel that you have to take every category and put that in your tags. Cause that's unrealistic. Don't think you have to take every title of every group and put it in your tags. That's unrealistic. And like I said, I have not watched these other videos that I've seen starting to pop up, how to hack Etsy gift mode. So I don't know if that's what they're telling people to do, but you really don't need to do that. And uh, it, it, does, it looks like they're favoring free shipping, but they do that anyway. But it can be the free shipping guarantee. That's 35 and up. And not everything that I was looking at in those first categories before you get to that one section that defaults to the free shipping filter, which is a few clicks in. So you have to go a few clicks in and then you get to that. But before you get to that, there are things in there that are not shipping for free. So it's not a requirement to have that in order to be seen in gift mode. Uh, but the, th the $35 free shipping guarantee does count for that free shipping filter. Just check your own tags. Go go on desktop and scroll all the way down, and you'll see that there are tags there. Those little bubbles at the bottom are your tags. You'll see the ones there that are the gift ones and see what Etsy has added to it. That's all. So if you have any questions, post them. And if you want me to show you anything else about gift mode, go right ahead. I'm not worried about it too much for anybody, honestly. I, I think that it's a novelty and it will help those two groups of people. But I'm, you know, how many people who are terrible at gift giving shop on Etsy anyway? They're probably going to go to the store and they're or they're just going to go to Amazon and buy something. Because if you're that lazy about gift giving, you're not going to put a lot of effort into it. And it, this might not even be something that is interesting to you. OK, again, give this video a thumbs up. Leave me any questions and I will talk to you later.